Hi everyone, in this lecture I will explain Unit 9 students book. In this lecture I will show you the past simple. Past simple is used in order to explain something happened in the past. Something happened and ended. In order to explain the past or to make a sentence in the past, we use whether did or was and were. In this uh, lecture, we will use was and were. The use of was or were in order to explain the past. How we use was and were in order to explain was in order to explain the past simple we use it in more than one form one one of these forms are is passive voice one of these forms so is passive voice when we change the sentence into the passive voice first we should delete the subject and then put the object instead of the subject in its place I mean and then put whether was or where and then the past participle of the verb when the subject or the object will be instead of the subject if the object is he she it I it should take was if the subject we, you, they, it should take where. So, was is the past simple of the uh, the verb or the verb to be is. Where is the past simple of the verb to be are. For example, here we have Jane Austen. Jane Austen is an England writer. Jane Austen, the English writer, was born in 1775 in Hampshire in the south of England. Here we have passive voice. How we know it's passive voice? Because uh, Jane Austen is not the subject but her mother because she born her is the subject but because we want to change the sentence into passive voice first of all we delete the subject which is her mother and put Jane Austen uh, Jane Austen in the real sentence is the object when we change it the sentence into sub uh, into uh, passive voice we put Jane Austen in the first of the sentence and then write was or were according to the object because Jane Austen is uh, singular we put was then the past participle of the verb born and the year here, Luciano Pavarotti. Luciano Pavarotti, the Italian opera singer, was born in 1935 in Modena in the north of Italy. Here, as in the first sentence, when we change the sentence into the past voice, first of all, we delete uh, the subject which is his mother and put the object which is Luciano Pavarotti and then was because he is singer, singular so we put was born the past participle of the verb and the year she was a writer she was born in 1775 here Jane Austen he was an opera singer here Luciano Pavarotti he was born in 1935 now let me shift into Arabic 
في الواقع نحن نستخدم الماضي في ثلاث حالات هنا في هذه المحاضرة لدينا الماضي في حالة ال في حالة تحويل الجملة من الجملة العادية simple sentence to passive voice المبني للمجهول عندما نريد أن نحول الجملة إلى المبني للمجهول فإننا نحذف الفاعل في بداية الذي يكون في بداية الجملة بعدها نضع المفعول به ويأتي دائما بعد الفعل المساعد أو بعد الفعل الرئيسي نضعه في بداية الجملة ونضع was aware للتعبير عن أن هذا الحدث حدث في الماضي وبعدها الفعل في حالة التصريف الثالث وبقي تكملة الجملة was تعبر عن الماضي في حالة المفرد إذا كان الفاعل أو المفعول به مفرد فإننا نضع was أي هي شي ات اي اذا كان احد الضمائر هي شي ات اي فنضع واز اذا كان الفاعل او المفعول به جمعا فنضع وير اي الضمائر ذي وي يو اذا وقعت في حاله السبجكت او في حاله الاوبجكت فاننا نضع وير هنا لدينا في هذه الجمله جين اوستن الكاتبه الإنجليزية المشهورة جين أوستن the English writer was born in 1775 هنا نتوقف عند هذه الجملة في الواقع هذه الجملة مبنية للمجهول كيف أنها مبنية للمجهول ولدينا فاعل وفعل مساعد وتكملة الجملة في الواقع جين أوستن لم تلد نفسها بنفسها بالطبع والدتها قامت بفعل الولادة فوالدتها هي الفاعل و was aware والفعل المساعد و born الفعل الرئيسي عند تحويل هذه الجملة و جين أوستن هي المفعول به عند تحويل هذه الجملة نقوم بحذف الفاعل وهو والدة جين أوستن قمنا بحذفها وضعنا ال object أي المفعول به بموقع الفاعل فأصبحت جين أوستن كانت مفعول به أصبحت هي الفاعل أو وضعناها بوضع الفاعل بمكان الفاعل وبعدها لأن جين أوستن مفرد ماضي وضعنا was والتصريف الثالث للفعل born in 1775 فأصبحت جين أوستن ولدت في سنة 1775 ولدت هي لم تقم بفعل الولادة لكنها ولدت هذا هو المبني المجهول هنا لوسيانو بافاروتي was born نفس الحالة لوسيانو بافاروتي لم يلد نفسه بنفسه ولكن والدته قامت بولادته أنت تحويل هذه الجملة فوالدته هي subject فاعل was born فعل فعل مساعد وفعل رئيسي لدينا ولوسيانو هو المفعول به عند تحويلها إلى فعل إلى الـ passive voice المبني المجهول نقوم بحذف والدة الوسيانو بافاروتي نضع الوسيانو بافاروتي موضع الفاعل كان مفعول به نضعه موضع الفاعل لأنه مفرد وضعنا was وبعدها born والسنة فتصبح مبني للمجهول هنا لدينا when were you born وضعنا I was born in 1994 كل you تحول بالجواب إلى I لأنني أجاوب عن نفسي كما قلنا I تأخذ was في حالة الماضي born in 1994 When was he born? He subject was born in 1978 When she was she born? She was born in 1991. When were they born? They were born in uh, 2001. Here we put was, was, was because it's singular. I, he, she. Here we put were because it's they. Here we have they, so we put were. 
Here we have the present and the past. I, the verb to be of I in the present am. Um, in the past was. You, the verb to be, are in the past were. We, verb to be, in the present, are in the past were. They, in the present, verb to be, in the present, are in the past were. He, she, it, in the present, is in the past was. We should memorize this chart because it's so important. Here we have uh, an information about this person which is called Megla Dromald. My name is Megla. It's a French name, but I am not a French. I am English. I was born in 1994. I have two brothers and a sister my older my eldest brother is a doctor his name Tristan and he was born in 1985 my sister is older is also older than me her name's Cecilia and she is a teacher and she was born in 1988 and my little brother is Matt and he was born in 1996 he's still a student my father is a friend his name's Andre he's from Marcel and he was born in I think 1950 8. My mother is English. Her name's Ella. She's from Manchester and she was born in 1961. My grandmother, who is my mother's mother, is called Edith. Isn't that a lovely name? She was born in Bristol. And I am not sure, but I think about 1935. Here, this an information about this lady, uh, this person, Magla uh, Dramard. She give us an information about herself and her family. Now we have questions about this text. And the answers. Answer the questions about Megla's family. Who is Tristan? Actually, he is Megla's brother. When was he born? He was born in 1985. Who are Andre and Ella? They are her parents. When were they born? Andres was born in 1958. Ella was born in 1961. Now, who were they? Who are the people in the photographs? Match the people and the jobs in the box. Actually, in this text, we have a famous persons and the job of each one of them. We first, we will read the information about these persons and then we give each person of them his, its uh, the job. So, first of all, we begin with Shakespeare was born in 1564 in Stratford upon a uh, Avon England Uncle Thum was born in 
8. In Mansoura in Egypt. Bruce Lee was born in 1940 in San Francisco in the U.S. Benazir Behadu was born in Karachi, uh, Pakistan in 1954. Ayrton Sani was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil in 1960. Mozart was born in Salzburg, Australia in 1756. Diana Spencer Diana Spencer was born in Sandra Sandra Khan, England in 1961. Now we have this information about these persons. So we will give each person his job. First of all we have singer Um Kulfum, musician of course Mozart, actor Bruce Lee, writer uh, Shakespeare, artist uh, we have a princess, uh, Prince Diana, Princess Diana, politician we have uh, Benazir Bahadur, we have racing driver uh, Arton Sunny. So we will repeat again singer Um Kalthum, musician we have Mozart, actor we have uh, Bruce Lee. And writer, we have Shakespeare, and we have a Princess Diana, have also a politician Benazir Bahadur, we have Racing driver Ayrton Sunny. Now we come to these questions. Answer the questions. Who was Shakespeare? He, because it's this Shakespeare, so we put he in the past, the sentence in the past, we put was writer where was he born because it's where so we should put a place he was born in england when he was born because we have when so we put a time in 1564 correct or negate the information shakespeare was an artist no, he wasn't because he wasn't an artist. He was a writer. The negative of was is wasn't. We put not and when we make it in the short form, it will be wasn't. He was a writer. Shakespeare and Diana were Irish because they are two persons, Shakespeare and Diana. So we put they because they are two persons no they weren't weren't is the negative of were they were english now let me shift into arabic for more explanation huna fi hada al text you read al ma'lumat al khassa an kull shakhsiye wal amal al munasib لكل هذا من هذه الشخصيات في الواقع هنا لدينا شيكسبير الكاتب الإنجليزي العظيم وهنا لدينا فهو رايتر لدينا أم كلثوم وهي مغنية فتصبح سينجر ولدينا بروسلي ممثل أكتر لدينا بنزير بهدور شخصية سياسية بوليتيشين ولدينا 
موزارت الموسيقي العظيم فيصبح ميوزيشن ولدينا برنسيس ديانا برنسيس ولدينا ارتون سوني وهو سائق سباقات فهو ريسنج درايفر هنا لدينا بعض الأسئلة عن شيكسبير وجب حفظها ولادته وفي أي سنة ولد وأين ولد هنا correct or negate the information أم آه هذه المعلومات خاطئة ويجب تصحيحها في, في البداية تنفي المعلومات التي في السؤال وبعد ذلك تقوم بتصحيحها شيكسبير was an artist هو في الواقع ليس فنان ولكنه كاتب ديانا and شيكسبير were Irish لأن هم ليس أيرلنديين لكنهم English بريطانيين أو إنجليز الواز نفي الوزن الوزن نفي الواز weren't نفي were now we come to write the correct information Ertan Sunny was an actor no he wasn't he was a racing driver this information according to the pictures the information underlie the pictures if it is correct we put it and if it is incorrect we put no and then we correct the information Jane Austen was a princess no she wasn't actually she was a writer Shakespeare and Jane Austen were artists no they weren't they were writers as we say wasn't is the negative of was weren't is the negative of uh, were Mozart was a science no he wasn't he was a musician Luciano pa uh, Pavarotti and Uncle Thum were politicians no they weren't they were singers Benazir uh, Bahadur was a writer no she wasn't she was politician now we have complete the sentences with, with was wasn't where weren't was and wasn't for singular where and weren't for plural where your father born because your father is singular so we put was when your parents born because your parents are plural two persons so we put where my parents weren't born in the 1961 because not both of them are born in this year so we put weren't and because it's plural so we put weren't my father because he is singular we put was born in 1961 and my mother was born in 1963 I was on holiday in Syria in 2008 was he at home yesterday because here we have a question so we, we put was first and then the subject and then the complement no he wasn't the negative of was were you at work yesterday yes we were were they at school yesterday morning no they weren't here because we have plural and we have questions so we put was and were in the beginning of the sentence now we have past symbol irregular verbs here we have some verbs but in the irregular forms and this chart the student should memorize it so match the present and the past forms of the verbs here we have go went go went come came have hot be was make made see so buy bought say said find found 
here this chart should be memorized very carefully because it's so important now we have read and complete the newspaper art uh, article with the irregular verbs we should put this irregular verbs in the right position Terry Horton a 60 year, uh, 16 years old lady from Los Angeles now here we have went we should point, put went shopping in San Bernardo a town in California USA she was the answer was in a charity shop when she saw a colorful modern painting she bought it for five dollars here we put five boat is the right answer on our teacher saw the painting and said it was by the American artist Jackson Pollock who is Jackson Pollock said Terry she had no idea here the answer is hard she had no idea that he was a very famous modern painter many art experts came the answer came to her house to see the painting some said that it wasn't a Pollock but one expert Peter Paul Barrow found here the correct answer found Pollock's finger pen print on the back Barrow said this is a real Pollock painting a rich businessman was happy to, s to pay nine million dollars for it but Terry said no I want I want a uh, 50 million doll million dollars in 2007 a Canadian TV compa company made a film about Terry and the painting it is now for sale in an art gallery in Toronto price 50 million dollars now we come to this look at the word that uh, go with have had and go here we have they have lunch at at one my parents go shopping on Saturday afternoon I always do my homework in bed now we have this box and we have some expressions we put each expression that go we should put each expression with that go with have do and go uh, first of all we have had have a lunch have a shower have a good time and have breakfast have breakfast so it will be have a lunch have a shower have a good time 
have a breakfast now we have do do my homework do some exercises and do housework do some exercises do housework now we have go go shopping go for a walk go on holiday go to work go home i'll repeat it have a lunch have a shower have a good time have a breakfast now we have do do my homework do some exercises do housework now we have go go shopping go for a walk go to work go home now we have answer this is the answers now we come to complete the sentences with what you did yesterday I had a shower at 7 o'clock the answer is hot this morning I had breakfast as we say here I had breakfast at 8 o'clock I had a coffee and a croissant last Saturday I went the past of go I went shopping and I bought a a pair of a trans and CD last week I did my homework at 5 o'clock on Sunday last year I went on holiday to Morocco now we come to the answers yesterday I meet my mother at one o'clock and we had lunch in a restaurant I hate doing house, uh, housework but last Sunday I did lot because my house was a mess yesterday was a lovely day so I went for a walk in the park usually I walk but yesterday I went to work by bus on Saturday night I went to a great party I had a really good time I did a lot of exercises yesterday I went to the gym the party wasn't very good so we went home early now this is the past of the verbs have the past of have will be had the past of did will be uh, do will be did the past of go will be went here in this uh, sentences we put the correct past forms in the correct where uh, in the correct sentences now we complete our lecture thank you very much